Hello friends, welcome to Sprouts Farmers Market. I haven't been here in a while, so we're overdue for a haul. And I'm not going to overpromise because there are some amazing things at Sprouts right now. I just took a lap around with Leilani. Oh my gosh, we're talking Bobby approved stuff that is so nutrient dense that you will not find at any other grocery store. It's one of the benefits of coming here. They get stuff before anyone else. So buckle up because this video has a ton of hits. Sprouts has really good Bobby approved pasture raised chicken. And that's a good thing because the pasture raised chicken I used to order online from a company called Cook's Venture is no longer. They went out of business and people have been asking me where to get chicken. And there's a few sources online, but Sprouts has something called pasture bird. And what's great about it is it's hundred percent pasture raised, non GMO certified, regenerative farmed. Regen farm means it's a farm that has diverse species of plants and animals, which is good for the soil. Good for the soil means nutrient dense produce that you and I eat and nutrient dense food and grass for the cows and feed for the chicken. This is great. So this is chicken drummies for $4.99 a pound. I've been talking about the big whole birds on stories and now they're gone. They're sold out. Those are about three or $4.99 a pound and they have boneless skinless thighs for $7.99 a pound. Why is pasture raised chicken better than just organic chicken which they have there? <laughs> because pasture raised chickens live outside. They're free to forage and they have a diet of bugs, worms, grass and non GMO feed and nutritionally speaking pasture raised chicken is more nutrient dense. This is great to get it at the store for a nice price is great too. I said that I'm really into fermented foods lately. Well, Sprouts is one of the only places to get this. Although I heard Whole Foods has it now too. Coconut Cult. It is the best quality fermented yogurt on the market. The founder is a friend of mine, Noah, and I am an investor, a small investor in the company. But this is amazing stuff. This is coconut, dairy-free yogurt with so many living probiotic bacteria they actually put on here. Start with two spoonfuls each morning because if you take too much in the beginning, it might be too many bacteria down there and cause some issues. Here's the cool thing, or not so cool thing I should say. The dirtiest little secret in the yogurt industry is that a lot of makers, the majority of them, will ferment and then pasteurize afterwards. And when you do that, you nuke or kill the living bacteria. This is made with pasteurized coconut milk, then undergoes a long fermentation, which is why you see there's 50 billion probiotics here. And look at all the different strains here. I have about two or three spoonfuls a day. What I've been doing at night is doing that, a little bit of minced um, pumpkin seeds on top. Yes, it's a little pricey at $17.99 for the big jug, but online these are about $30. And rumor has it they might be coming out with single serve cups also. This is delicious. They have small ones that are harvest strawberry that is delicious too and incredibly good friendly. Well, I just showed you the pasture raised chicken. This is probably more exciting in my opinion because raise your hand, has anyone ever found 100% grass fed beef bones in the grocery store. This is just over two pounds for $10.99. Why is it so exciting? Hello, homemade bone broth with best in class bones. Throw it in your Instant Pot with some aromatics for about an hour and a half. And considering it's very hard to find um, kettle and fire at grocery stores these days, because I guess Dana White did a reel about how he breaks his fast with kettle and fire and it's sold out nationwide now. Super duper cool. Almost impossible to find at grocery stores, 100% grass fed beef liver. I take actually liver and organ pills in the morning, but if you want fresh, thawed out, pan fry it with butter and onions like my Jewish grandmother used to do. Why is this so cool? Because liver and organ meat are oftentimes called offal, is the most nutrient dense form of meat you can get. If you think a steak is good for you, the liver is so much better. And ladies, if it's that time of the month, this is such a good supplement to the bleeding you're having. They have grass fed burgers here, but you want something truly nutrient dense and Bobby approved. Force of Nature is a company out of Texas. I believe the guy who started Epic Meat Bar started this. This is ground venison ancestral blend. It's ground venison with venison liver, venison heart and ground beef. They're putting the nutrient dense organ meat in here too. They have other ones that have bison, bison liver and bison heart or patties that have bisons and grass fed in there. Unbelievable corner of meat and bones that is like primal city baby. 
We'll take a super quick break from the video because I want to throw some love to Seed, who makes the best probiotic for adults and kids. And what did I say earlier? Fermented foods are where it's at. I've been trying to get as many in my diet as possible. But in addition to that, you need a good probiotic. And the dirty secret about a lot of probiotics is they never actually make it to your colon. The bacteria will die in your stomach. But seed is a pill within a pill. The only thing that comes off in your stomach is the outer capsule, which is made of pomegranates, which are high in fiber. And the inner capsule makes it to your colon. And that's important because the inner capsule has 24 custom strains of bacteria that really work for poop, digestion, skin health, and more. And don't sleep on the kids one. For kids three to 17, Seed Probiotic has nine custom strains of bacteria that I put in Rose's uh, Flav City Protein Smoothie every single day. So if you're in the market for a ProB, click my link down below, 25% off your first month's supply and free shipping and 30 days risk-free, Seed is the goat. I oftentimes talk about how Sprouts has, in my opinion, what is, the best frozen section in the retail grocery game. And this is a new addition right here that is perfect for Super Bowl Sunday. It's called Snow Days. It's pizza bites that are literally perfectly Bobby approved. I grew up, and I'm sure you did, with like Totino's pizza rolls and stuff like that. Horrific ingredients, but delicious. These are delicious with the most amazing ingredients ever. And this is my favorite. It's pepperoni pizza bites. How is a pepperoni bite? Bobby approved? Take a look. Number one, the pepperoni they're using is organic pork. The oil they're using is olive oil. There's a boatload of vegetables. They use organic butter. They're gluten-free made of cassava flour and cassava starch with not one cruddy ingredient. Oh, and by the way, the cheese used for all their bites 100% grass-fed mozzarella cheese. Are you kidding me, my friends? These are good. They are a little pricey. The normal price is $8.99, but if you hurry up until 2.13, it's BOGO. Buy one, get one free for the Super Bowl on Sunday. Score! I've never seen an ice cream collection like this at any other grocery store, and I see a couple new ones, but I wanna start with this. It's very hard to find this, but if you can find Cosmic Bliss, which used to be Coconut Bliss, oh my God, wanna see something crazy? This is cookie dough. That's Bobby approved. The whole thing's organic, which is nice. But the dairy is 100% grass-fed organic dairy. How did they get the cookie dough here? I should've brought my reading glasses, but oat flour sweetened with coconut sugar and maple sugar. Not one dose of cane sugar, natural flavors, Process inflammatory seed oils or BS ingredients, and one serving has 16 grams of sugar. For ice cream, that's on the low side, and this is a paleo sweetener. Let's just say you're dairy free. Take my step to my right, and they have dairy free versions right here. This is my favorite one, chocolate peanut butter made with coconut milk, real peanut butter and chocolate, no BS ingredients. But there's some other interesting ones here. Like I was just telling Leilani, what the heck is ice cream for bears sweetened with raw honey? This is crazy, the stuff they have here. Milk cream, raw honey, milk, egg yolks, cocoa, and butter. Not in big lettering, grass-fed. And read, we use grass-fed, minimally processed, pasture-raised dairy. Holy cow. Cow, grass-fed dairy, raw honey. The egg yolk is technically not non-GMO, but this is as close as they get to Bobby approved. Why is this stuff not in other stores? Between this and Cosmic Bliss, winner. I spy something really interesting. Would you expect pet kefir to be Bobby approved? Yes, and the reason why there's a dog and a cat on here and says not for human consumption is because this is kefir. If you've been watching me on Flav City, or sorry, Bobby Parrish Stories on Instagram or Facebook, I've been eating a ton of fermented foods lately because it's so gut friendly, including kefir. The thing is, this kefir is made with raw cow's milk. And in certain states, like Florida, we don't allow for raw dairy sales at the grocery store unless you buy it straight from certain farms. So they market this to pets as a pet food topper. But this company called Raw Farm, I'm pretty sure they're out of California, in other states is sold for human consumption. So why would you want this kefir versus like other kefirs here? Because something like this, which is Bobby approved too, is also made with 100% grass-fed milk. 
but this is pasteurized milk, then fermented with the bacteria. This is raw milk fermented with the bacteria. A lot of people don't like pasteurized dairy because technically when you pasteurize it, yeah. you do kill the living properties in there. You can scorch the lactose, making it harder to digest. But some people don't like raw dairy also. They think it's unsafe, which is only true if it's from a really unreputable source. So if you like really high quality raw dairy that's fermented with living bacteria that foster your gut, the meow, 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 woof, 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 kefir is the way to go. That is it, friends. What did I tell you in the beginning of the video? Did I, huh? Did I promise or what? There are some amazing things right now that you just can't find at any of the grocery stores. I don't know why, but Sprouse has the leg up when it comes to that. And you're talking about good, Bobby approved, nutrient dense, protein rich, carnivore foods like that chicken, the beef bones, the ancestral blend and all the other stuff. Run on down to uh, Sprouts, buy some stuff, get the BOGOs, those are the best deals ever. But I got some shopping to do and then head home. I will see you like I always do until then. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Bye.